Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. This video is for part 2 of the Natural History Cal. The Natural History Cal has been designed by Christina from A Spoonful of Yarn and is the Scheepjes Cal 2020. In part 2 there's an awful lot happening. We'll be making butterflies, we'll be making bees and a lot of details on our blanket. So I'll take you step by step through everything that's happening in part 2. The yarn that I'm using is Scheepjes stone washed yarn. You can have a stone wash kit, but you can also have a color crafter kit. And do check that you're using the right um, color at the right round, because we're changing colors almost every round. So like I said, I'll take you step by step through the beautiful part two of Natural History Cal. Let's get started. Round 19. I have color one on my hook with a slip knot, and in this round we're going to work a corner and then on every stitch work a back post half treble. That's the goal of this round. So yarn over because we're starting with a standing half treble in any chain two corner space. Chain two, that's your new corner and then work another half treble in the corner. We're now going to work a back post half treble on every stitch. So, especially around the first one, it can be a bit tricky again. So just take your time there. And then move along around every stitch, work a back post half treble. This round is in that essence maybe a bit easier than some of our previous rounds which had much more detail. So work a back post half treble on every stitch. When you get to the corner on the other side you're going to work a new corner. So when you get here on this side you're going to work a half treble chain to half treble. So that's going to be the same in every corner and then you go all the way around and there's just going to be a certain point where you find that you have the starting chain 2 from the previous row and I just need to find where that is. Ah, here. Here you have that starting chain 2. Be sure to, to skip this stitch. So you're going to work your back post stitch around this entire stitch like that. So basically toppling the invisible join forward. So that's important here. You're going to skip this chain 2. Just work around the stitch that's next to it. But for this row, work a back post half treble on every stitch, and in the corner work a half treble, chain two, half treble. Go all the way around, at the end close with a slip stitch, and you can also cut your yarn. Round 20, I have color 4 on my hook. And we're going to actually be working in the middle of an edge. And to determine the starting point, we're going to count 19 stitches. Now, this corner stitch here, that's stitch number 1. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and that stitch there is number 19. I'm just going to insert my hook there because we're going to start with a standing double crochet. So this is stitch number 19, including that first half treble there made in the corner. That's stitch number 1. Continue and work a half treble in the next two stitches. So one. And two. Chain one. I'm going to skip a stitch, so this stitch here, and come to the next and work a treble. And also in the stitch after you work a treble, so you've worked two trebles. Chain one. And now immediately in the next stitch. So in the next stitch going to work a 6 treble bobble. So that's in that stitch that means that 6 trebles worked together in the one stitch. That's a bobble. So that's the 
first leg, so that's one of the travel bubble, two, three, four, five, and this is the last one, six. Now, quite a few loops on your hooks. Take them all off in one go. Chain two, one, two. And now we're just going to place a stitch marker. I just need to find my stitch markers. We're going to place a stitch marker in that first of the two chains. And that's actually that little chain that looks like it's made that eye there. I'm just going to hook a stitch marker in there. like so. And now we can continue. In the next tra uh, stitch, the stitch work travel. And also in the stitch after, so you've got two travels. Chain one. Skip a stitch. That stitch. They work two half travels. One, two, and your last stitch, work a double crochet. Now you can cut your yarn and open up this loop. Leave these yarn tails attached for the moment. It's easier if you work them away later when you've worked a few more rows. And what you've just worked on one edge, you're going to repeat on your other three edges as well. So these few stitches repeat on your other three before continuing to the next row. Round 21, I have color one on my hook. And we're going to start two stitches before the stitch from the previous row. So here was that stitch from previous row, so you go one two stitches before that, insert your hook for a standing double crochet. In the next stitch work another double crochet. Now I'm going to come up to the stitches from round 20 and work a double crochet in each of these three. One. Two and three. Work a double crochet in the chain one space. Now I have two trebles. Work a double crochet on each of those. One and two. Chain one space, it's a very small little space here. Work a double crochet in there. Now we're going to work six triple trebles together. And this is going to be quite an exercise because we're going to work three of the legs in this stitch here that we've skipped and the three other legs on this stitch that we've skipped. So we're going to be having three legs either side and then we're going to bring them all together. A triple treble means three times yarn over. One, two, three times. And now you're going to really have to fold your work and fold back because you want to get into that skipped stitch there and you want to stay in front of your work. So that means you yeah, really folding your work and you're going to have to really maybe force it even a little bit into that stitch. And what's important is you don't want to go through it because then you're going to be working over your work. You want to stay in front, and there we go, of the stitches that these orange stitches for me here. You want to stay in front of that. And then that's number one. So take off two loops, take off two, 
take off two. That was one. Now you want two more. So top three times over. And the second one is usually a bit easier. In that same stitch, loop and one, two, three times. And again, two, three times yarn over in the same stitch. Loop and it's all a little tight, but that's correct. Two, three. There you go. So now I've got three of these legs over there. Now come to the other side to your second skip stitch. Now we're going to work three legs in that position, and this is usually easier because this is forward and not backwards. So again, three times yarn over. Insert into that stitch, stay in front of your work. You see this one's just much easier. Two, three times. One, two, three times yarn over. And again. Two, three times. And the last one, three times yarn over. One, two, three. At this point you have seven loops on your hook that you're going to take off in one go. Come to the back here, to the chain two space here to the back. So you see you've got that marked chain, chains, you're going to ignore that, the space here. Insert your hook and work a double. On the next two trebles work a double. Chain, chain one space, work a double. These last three stitches here work a double on each. And this first one can be a little tricky. That's one, two, and here's the last one. You see, I'm just holding on to that yarn tail because that makes it easier for me to get into the stitch. It's three. And now come back down to these two stitches. I'll work a double crochet. One and two. You can cut your yarn and fasten off this loop. If you want to just fashion this, these long stitches here a little bit. What you've just worked on the one edge, repeat that on the other three as well. So you're going to have to work these triple treble stitches uh, three more times and then we're ready for the next row. Round 22. I have color 4 on my hook and we're again going to start two stitches before the last row on round 19. You see here was the previous row. So I'm going to go two stitches before and start there with a standing double crochet. Double crochet on the next stitch as well. And now we're again going to move up on top of these, for me it's the whitish stitches, and work on each of them a double crochet. That's going to be nine. Nine doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and number nine. Here is this last stitch. There's number nine. That's nine double crochets. Chain one. And now we're going to make a treble bobble, a six treble bobble actually. And we're going to make it in the marked stitch. Now you see there's the stitch with the stitch marker in it, but just look underneath these um, 
these, these six trebles here. And you see there's your marked stitch. We're going to work in it from this direction. So I'm going to yarn over, then insert into that marked stitch. And work over it. Pick up your loop. So you're working over all of your stitches and complete the first leg. That's one. You need to do this five more times. It's one so in that same position. Two. There we go. Two. I'm just going to remove the stitch marker because at this point I don't need it anymore. It's two. So you see you're covering that six treble, double, triple treble bubble. You're covering everything. So it's three. Five, and here's the last one. Six. Now you have seven loops on your hook. Take them all off. And as usual, push your hook slightly up. So yarn over, and as I pull through, I just push up, and then you don't get stuck anywhere. So then you just easily pull that through. Chain. Two. It's so one, two, and then that completes your bobble. And now we're going to come down into the same on this side as we did there. So we're going to work nine doubles, but the first one you really need to dig for it. If you just look behind all your stitches, there, that's the first stitch. This one is really hidden. So there. And actually now I've also just take a part of the bobble with me. You see that loop? I don't want that loop. It has to be on the other side, that pink purple loop. See, and that's why I say this stitch is really hidden. And there we go, now I can see it properly. And there it is. So that's one. And then the rest is, is easier because it just comes down. Two, three, Four, five, just come down five, so this here is six, seven, eight, and the last one here, number nine, is on that very last stitch there. Nine. I'm going to come down onto row nineteen again and work two doubles. One and two. There we go. You can cut your yarn and open up the loop to fasten off. And if you want to just fashion your stitches a little bit. What you've done on the one edge, repeat this again as for the previous rows on your other three edges as well before continuing. Round 23, I have color 1 on my hook and we're again going to start on round 19 and we're going to count 8 stitches before the last stitch. So here's the last stitch from the previous row. So then it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8. There we go. So 8 stitches before. Start there with a standing double crochet and then two more doubles. So one, two. And the following three stitches are half treble. So one, two, three. And the three stitches after that, oh, sorry, the two stitches after this, a treble. Two trebles. So one and two. We're now going to move up on round 22. On the first two stitches, we work a half treble. That's one. Two. On the following nine stitches, we work a double. So 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the last one here should fall in the last stitch before the chain space. Nine. That's just a checkpoint for you. In the chain one space, make one double crochet. Chain three. So one, two, three chain stitches. I'm going to skip the, the travel bobble here and come to the chain space on the other side and work a double crochet in that chain space. Now we're going to come down and do the same on this side. We're going to start with nine double crochets in the first stitch and that's this one here immediately after the chain space. That's one. We're going to work nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and here's the last one, nine. Nine doubles. You should have two stitches left here on round 22. In these last two stitches you work a half treble on each. So one, And two. And a bit more yarn. Now we're going to come down to round 19 again. On the first two stitches we work a treble. So one and two. Then a half treble. Next three stitches. That's one. Two and three, and on the next three stitches, a double. It's so one, two, three. That's it. Cut your yarn and open up this loop. And if all went right, there should be six stitches left before you get to the corner. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's also just a checkpoint for you. So that was this one edge. So again, having a look at where we are, what you've just done on the one edge repeats on the other three edges as well. And you'll slowly but surely start to see that your octagon is starting to take shape. But first repeat what you've done on the other three sides as well. Round 24. I have again color 1 on my hook and where we're going to start is on any edge. You have here the, um, the last stitch we worked in round 23. So then we go 4 stitches before that on round 19. So 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm just going to insert my hook there and start with this because we're standing, starting again with the standing double crochet. Double on the next two stitches and actually now we're also starting the repeat. So this double here starts the repeat. That's one, two. In your next stitch a half treble. Now we're going to come up onto round 23 and work a half treble in the first five stitches of round 23. That's the first one here. One. Oh, my yarn is just not cooperating. That's one. One, five, two, three, 
four, and five. So we've half treble on the first five. Now we're going to work a treble on the next fifteen stitches. And that'll bring you to the chain space. That's one. Two, we're going to work 15 trebles. Three, 15. That's 15 trebles. We're now here at the chain space. In that chain space, work a double treble. That's twice over. Work a double treble. Chain two. And a another double treble. Slightly turning my work. Now we're going to come down and we're going to start by working 14 trebles because we're going to skip the first stitch. So I'm going to yarn over. So here this first stitch, skipping that stitch, come to the second. That's going to be my first of 14 Treble. So these edges are not symmetrical, and that's correct. That's two. You'll notice that as we continue, that more often you'll have that your edges are not symmetrical. Don't worry about that. That's correct. That's purposefully done by the designer. Continue until you have fourteen trebles. Fourteen. Those are the 14 trebles. On the next stitches, next five stitches, I'm going to work a half treble. I might just need to rotate my work a bit. There we go. That's one, two, three, four. Here is five. Now again, going to continue here on round nineteen. A half treble in the first stitch. That's one, and then a double crochet on the next three. That's one, two, and three. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm just going to rotate my work because we're now going to continue here on the edge 19 on the other side of the corner. And where to start? Again, four stitches before the last stitch of round 23. So you have here one, two, three, four, so you count back and double crochet in that stitch. I'm just going to pop the chain here to the back, but we'll get to that later on. And now you're at exactly the same point we were when we started with the first stitch. So now you would work two double crochets again. One, two, and the next stitch would be a half treble because everything here, this is the same as the start here. So everything you've just done, this entire edge, do this three more times all the way around. And when you get here, after your chain, what you're going to do is you're going to work a chain five, and then you'll close here on this first single crochet, or sorry, the first double crochet, I should say, the first standing double. You're going to close on there with a slip stitch after you've made your last chain five. And then you can also fasten off. This is your work at the moment. Right now take a moment to here at the back work away these yarn tails. I've already done a few but not all. So there are still quite a few left here on, on all. See these ones I've already done. So work away these yarn tails and when you do so work into the stitches next to it. So, so to prevent these gaps from occurring. So you're going to take this thread just zoom in a little bit so you can actually see what I mean. So when you work away this thread, don't pull it to the left and you see here there's a gap that, that, that arises, but 
first thread it through these stitches here and only then go that way. That way you'll prevent this gap and do that with all of these threads. So work away these threads before you continue with the rest of the pattern. Round 25. I have color 4 on my hook with the slip knot. And we're again going to start on the stitches of round 19. Now there aren't that many left. If you look here. You're going to take it one stitch before the stitch of round um, the 24. So there's one stitch here on round 19. We're just going to go to the next stitch. And you're going to work over the chain 5 space. So you're also going to grab that chain 5 space. And then we're going to start with a standing double crochet. So over this first stitch from round 19 and the chain 5 space. But you're still after the corner here. We're immediately going to come up to the stitches from round nine, from round 24. So in this first stitch from round 24, work a half treble. Now we're going to work a small repeat up into the chain space up here. It's going to be chain one, skip a stitch, and work a half treble in the next stitch. So it's chain one. Skipping the next stitch, so that's the next stitch, come to the stitch after and work a half treble in there. You're going to do this 12 times, so there was one, two, skip a stitch, and work a half treble. So this was repeat number two, skip a stitch, this is repeat number three. Continue like this, chain one, skip a stitch, and then I'll see you here at the chain two corner space just above the B. They, then you'll have done 12 repeats. I need to do one more repeat. Chain one, skipping the stitch, and then number 12 falls exactly in the stitch before the chain space. In the chain space here above the B, work a half treble, chain two, and a half treble. In this space, work a half treble, chain two, and a half treble. Now we're going to come down. And this edge works similar, but not, not exactly the same, because like I said, it's going to be a bit asymmetrical here and there. You're going to work a half treble in the first stitch. That's going to be that stitch there. It might be, so be sure that you don't miss it. So this is a long stitch here, a half treble in there. And now we're going to repeat the same idea. Chain one, skip a stitch work a half treble. But now you're only going to do this 11 times. So again, chain one, skip a stitch, and work a half treble. Chain one, skip a stitch, and a half treble. So I've now worked three repeats with you. Continue until you're roughly about here, then you'll have done 11. Then I'll, I'll see you back there. Got one more repeat to do. Chain one, skip a stitch, and work a half treble. You should have one stitch left on round 24 before you get to the chain five space. Chain one, you're going to skip this last stitch and come down to round 19, and on the first stitch work a double, and while you do so, also work over the chain five space. You're going to cover that chain 5 space with the double crochet. Chain 3. Two, three. Then turn your work, rotate your work I should say. And now come to 
the other side of the corner where you've got the two stitches from round 19, the one that's closest to round 24, this stitch here, and over the chain space. I've still got two yarn tails here, but over that chain space, work a double crochet. See, also covering the chain space. And this stitch is exactly the same as the stitch we started with, that first standing double crochet. So everything you've just done on this edge, you would now repeat on your next edge as well. Go all the way around, and when you're finished, you're going to work a chain 3, and then close on this first stitch. And then you can also fasten off, um, because the next round will be a new colour. Round 26, I have colour 1 on my hook again and we're going to start in the corner space, you've got here the flower petals in the chain corner space from round 19, we're going to work in there and at the same time covering the chain 3 and 5 spaces to the back. I'm going to start with a standing half treble. I'm going to yarn over and hold on to that, then insert into this chain space and over all of those spaces as well. So you're going to grab all of them together with a half treble. Chain two and then another half treble through that same space. So connecting all those chain spaces together. We're now going to work on the edge. What we're going to do is we're going to skip the stitch from round 19 that's in here and we're going to skip the first stitch from round 25, that orange stitch there. And then come to the second stitch of round 25 and there work a half treble. And that half treble. Now in the chain spaces, these chain spaces, we're going to work two half trebles in each of them. I'm going to do that 12 times. So this here is, so that's two half trebles in every chain space. So that's one. Okay, so this, so you would do this 12 times. So 20, two half trebles and you're only going to work in the chain spaces. So I've now done this three times, going to continue, work two half trebles in every chain space and then I'll see you here when you're doing your last set and this will be set number 12. I'll see you at that point. I've done this repeat 12 times, so the last set of two half trebles is in that last chain space. I have a few more stitches left before you get to the top here. I'm going to skip the next stitch, That's that stitch, I'm going to skip that and in the stitch just before the chain space, work a half treble. There's a half treble in there. Now here at the top, in the chain space just above the B, work a half treble, chain two, and another half treble. Now we're going to come down. You're going to skip the first stitch. That's this stitch here. You're going to skip that and come to the second stitch. And work a half treble in there. Now you're at the chain spaces again. And in all these chain spaces work two half trebles. That's going to do that 12 times. So this is the same as on the other side. One, two, and the next one, one, two. So I've done this three times, continue until you've done twelve, then you'll be at this point here, and I'll see you back there when you've done twelve of these repeats. You've done the repeat 12 times, you're back at the starting corner. You have one more stitch here on round 25. I'm going to work a half treble in here. 
Now we're going to come down to round 19 and again in the corner space from round 19 working over all these chain spaces work half treble, chain 2, half treble. In that space half treble, chain 2 and a half treble and you're again covering all those chain spaces securing them to your work. And this corner is the same as the corner we started with here. So everything you've just done, do that three more times and you get to the first stitch. After you've done your last half treble, close on there with a uh, slip stitch and then you can also fasten off. So this is what your work looks like at the moment. Before we continue, I'll actually show you how to place a few markers. I'm going to place four markers on every edge. I'd like to show you where to place those markers before we continue with the next round. So we're going to start at the corner. So here's the leaf So on this corner. So there's the B, not the B corner, the other corner. We're going to come to round 24 and those are these stitches that we skipped to. We're going to be marking four of them on every edge. Come to the fourth skipped stitch. So you see here's number one, it's two, it's three and four. Fourth one. Mark that with a stitch marker. So you see stitch number four. And now again four stitches along. So one, two, three, four. This one, mark that as well. So it's the fourth stitch and the eighth stitch. Now we're going to come to the other side here. So here's the B. And now we're going to count five spaces down. So this is the corner from the from the B. Then the fifth space. Skip stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Mark the stitch. And the last one you're gonna mark on this edge. Again four stitches on. So one, two, three, four. And mark the stitch. So, you've skipped, so stitch number four and number eight, counting up and counting down, stitch number five and number nine. Mark these four positions on your other three edges also. Round 27, I have cut two on my hook and we're going to start in the same stitch as we have close with the slip stitch the previous round. So that's where the stitch where we're going to start. I'm going to start in there with the standing half treble. I'm going to yarn over and in that same stitch just over the slip stitch join. Just, yeah, just covering that slip stitch. Whoop. Hold on to all your loops. Work a standing half treble. We're now going to come to the um, corner space and this is also going to be the start of the repeat unit. In the corner work a half treble, chain two and a half treble. Half treble, chain two and a half treble. That's your new corner. I'm going to skip the first stitch. Now that's that little stitch there, that hidden stitch. I'm going to skip that stitch and work a half treble in the next stitch. Skip that stitch and come to the next and work a half treble. Now I'm going to come down and work a front post double treble around the, the corner stitch here from round 19. Once over is a treble, twice over is a double treble. 
then come down and you have to fold your work, work a front post around that stitch from round 19. Grab your yarn and complete stitch. So that's a nice long stitch there. I'm going to skip a stitch to the back and then work 10 half trebles. So we're going to skip the next stitch. So let's see there's the last stitch worked. So we're going to skip that stitch and come to the next. That's here. And then going, that's going to be the first of 10 half trebles. That's one. So now we work 10 of them. Two, three, and ten. Ten half trebles. We're now going to start working the butterfly, and and this this these next few stitches are a little tricky. Now I'll try to um to take it slow. Start with the chain two. Chain two. Come to the next stitch and work a slip stitch in here. So slip stitch. Chain three. One, two, three. And now in the same stitch, so still in that same opening as where you have the um, the slip stitch, work five trebles. So in so in this still in the same position, going to work five travels. So one, two, three, four, five. There's five travels. Chain two, one, two, and now we're going to work a front post treble around the post of the stitch that we that we're currently in. So I'm just going to take the loop out of the hook. So this is the stitch we're currently in. So here, this is the post that we're going to work around there, because this is the top of the stitch. Then this is the post that goes along with it. So we're going to work a front post treble around that same stitch. Yarn over for the treble and come around that stitch and work the front post treble. This is the point where it gets really very full and there's just an awful lot happening here. So that was the front post treble, now chain two. And now we're going to come to the next stitch, and now it's very important to fold your work to the side because there's the next stitch. If you fold it to the side, you should be able to see it because it's really hidden by your work. And in that stitch, work five trebles, chain three, and a slip stitch. So in that stitch, I'm going to start with the five trebles. That's one. Just need a bit more yarn. That's one. Two, three, four, and five. Chain three. One, two, three. Now you're going to come down, and you might have to push those trebles to the side because in that same position, in that same position, you want to work a slip stitch. So slip stitch, then chain two, and then you've survived the first bit of the first butterfly. In the next eleven stitches, work a half treble, and that'll bring you here to um to above the B. Now that's the, this is the stitch you're currently. So this here is your next stitch because that's the one you just worked. So this is your next stitch. Going to work eleven half trebles. So that's one, two, 
three, continue until you have eleven, four, and eleven. It's eleven half trebles. We're now going to come down and work a front post double treble around the double treble from round twenty-four. So that's this long, this longer stitch you have here. So twice over around that stitch with a front post double treble two, three I'm going to skip the next stitch here to the back and so again that's the last stitch works so going to skip this stitch and then come to the next and that'll be your last stitch before the corner so that's just a checkpoint for you in that last stitch work a half treble Then you're at the corner here above the B. So here's the B, so you're at the corner above the B. And work a half treble, chain two, half treble, half treble, chain two, and a half treble. And now we're going to come down and work something similar as we did here, but just just slightly asymmetrical, but, but similar. So we're going to start by skipping the first stitch. I'm going to skip. So this that is the hidden stitch again. I'm going to skip that stitch and work a half treble in the next stitch. And now come down and work a front post double treble around the double treble from round 24 again. Just twice over around that stitch. Pick up. And complete the double treble. Skipping a stitch again to the back. See I'm skipping a stitch, that stitch there. And now work 12 half treble. So that's different to the other to here. We had only 11 and now you're going to work 12. So that's two. Continue until you have 12 and then we'll work another butterfly Twelve. 12 half trebles now we're going to work that butterfly again so one stitch at a time keeping your wits about you start with a chain two then in the next stitch work a slip stitch chain three and in that same stitch five trebles That's one two three four five trebles chain two and then again that front post stitch is around the post of the stitch so that's we're going to work the front post treble around yarn over come down and work the front post treble chain two and now do the reverse order in the next stitch and again fold your work to the side and you can really see that next stitch I'm going to start with five trebles in there that's one two Five, chain three, and then come down and work a slip stitch in that stitch. And there we go. And that's a, your next bit of the butterfly made. Chain two.
and that's the next stitch. Work nine half trebles. So one, two. I just need a bit more yarn. Two. This is three. Travels. Now you're almost at the next corner. So I'm going to work a front post double treble again here around this corner stitch from round 19, and that's going to um, that's it's just like the first one we did here. It's going to um, echo that stitch on the other side. So twice over, come around that stitch from round 19. Work the front post double treble. Skipping a stitch, skip the next stitch, and then on your last stitch, before you get to your chain two corner space, work a half treble. And then your next stitch should be the chain two corner space where you work a new corner. Half, chain half treble, chain two half treble. And this new corner here, this is actually the start of your second repeat. So everything we've just done, and that's quite a bit, do this three more times. And when you're all the way around, you're going to close on this standing half treble here. So you close on that stitch with a slip stitch, and then you can also fasten off. Round 27A. I have color 3 on my hook with the slip knot, and we're going to start here in you have these um, these sets of two marked stitches. You have eight of these sets. Going to, so with here's the butterfly, so take the stitch that's before the butterfly. I'm just going to insert in that marked stitch with a slip stitch. I'm actually just going to remove the stitch marker because it's now it's actually slightly in the way. So in that marked stitch, attach with a slip stitch. There you go. Chain three. Two, three. And now we're going to come to the butterfly. You have the five trebles. Those five trebles we're going to work into. In the first of the five trebles, work a double crochet, double, half treble, treble, next stitch work a half treble, and a double. Chain five, Two, three, five, and now we're going to come to the. I just need a bit more yarn. Now we're just going to come to the next set of five trebles. So we're skipping all the chains and everything else. So the first stitch there, work a double crochet on that stitch, a half treble. Treble, a half treble, and a double crochet again. There you go. Chain three. One, two, three. Now we're going to come down and work a slip stitch through the second marked stitch. And now it's important to not twist this chain in any way. Just come straight front to back and work that slip stitch. You can cut your yarn and open up your slip knot, open up your loop, and you can remove the marker. These two threads, just pull them to the back so that you can work them away easier. Just going to pull them 
to the back and that's what this little butterfly looks like now. When you've completed the one butterfly you repeat exactly the same on all your seven other butterflies. So you're going to do these stitches around 27A eight times, once on every butterfly and they can remove all your stitch markers. Round 28, color 2 on my hook. I'm going to start in this stitch where we close with a slip stitch in round 27. Start with a standing treble, just in that stitch, kind of covering the slip stitch, and start with a standing treble. The next stitch, also work a treble. Now we're at the corner stitch and this is also the start of the repeat unit. In the corner work a treble, chain two and a treble. I'm going to skip the first stitch, so that stitch, and then come to the second and start working eleven trebles. And that second stitch. So this is the first of eleven. And then we'll get to the butterfly again. It's two work eleven trebles. This is three. Eleven. Eleven trebles. And I also well slightly behind the butterfly. Going to skip the last stitch. You have one stitch left here. That stitch. I'm going to skip that stitch, and we're going to come to the butterfly. And let me just show you where we're going to be working. If you look at the butterfly, right here in the middle, you have this front post stitch. We're going to be working in the two chain spaces, left and right, so either side of this post stitch. And when we work in this chain space, we're also going to work over chain 5 that's here to the back. So we're going to work over these two and then we're going to work up to the other hole and work over those two. That's what we're going to be doing. So I'm just going to pick up the loop. Now we're going to work this the same combination of stitches. We're going to start with working five trebles in this first chain 2 space. So that's before the um the, the, the double the, the treble there, the front post treble. And then in, so working over the chain five space to the back. That's one, two, going to come down and work a slip stitch in this same space. That's your first butterfly petal. Now we come to the next chain 2 space and insert in there and we're going to work a slip stitch again. Chain 3 and once surprise you five trebles in the same space and all the time covering that chain five space to the back. This here is two, three, four, five. So we've got two more butterfly petals. We're going to come back to our stitches here on the back and if you just look closely here you see there's that first stitch. I'm going to skip that and come to the second. In that second work a treble. So you see there's a chain space, first stitch, second stitch. A treble and that is then the first of 13 and that'll bring you to the corner. That's one. Two, 
3 and you're going to work 13. There's 13 trebles and that last one falls just before the corner. And then your corner, that's one treble, chain two, and one treble. And now you're above the B again. I'm going to come down on this edge and work very similar stitches. I'm going to skip the first stitch. That's on that stitch there. Skip that stitch. Then come to the next. And this is the first of 13. So one, two, and work 13 trebles. Three, 13 trebles. I'm going to come to the butterfly and here we're going to do the same as we did on the first butterfly. So in the chain 2 spaces going to be working and covering the chain 5 here to the back. I'm going to start in the first chain space, so that's before the front post treble here. Insert so just hook through the chain 2 space and cover the chain 5 to the back work five trebles. That's one in that space. Two, three, four, and five. Chain three and again work a slip stitch in that space. So this is the same as the previous butterfly. Come to the next chain space, insert your hook, chain three, and five more trebles in that same space. And again, covering, so you can just insert your hook through the entire space, so cover that entire chain five space. That's three, four, and five. And there you go. Come back here behind the butterfly and skip the first stitch, so that's again this hidden stitch, and come to the second stitch. And then we're going to work 11 trebles. See, I'm skipping that first stitch, come to the second, that's your first treble. I'm going to work 11. That's two. And then that'll bring you to the corner again. And the last one. So 11 is again exactly before your corner. And then in the corner, you start the new repeat treble, chain two, and treble. This repeat is, of course, the same as this one here. So this corner, or oh, where is it? This corner. So everything you've just done on both these edges, both butterflies, repeat three more times. On your last repeat, you'll omit your final two trebles. Then close here on your first stitch with a slip stitch, and you can also fasten off. Round 29, I have color 5 on my hook, and we're going to start. In the first stitch after the join, that's important. You see, here's the stitch with the join, that's the slip stitch, here's my yarn tail. And I'm going to take the stitch after, so that's the stitch you're going to start. It's a slightly different position to previous rows. So in that second stitch, start in there with a standing treble. To the next stitch, work another treble. Now you're at the corner, and this is the start of your repeat unit. So work a treble in the corner, chain two, and a treble. So that's your first corner and start of the repeat. Now, on the first little edge, 
we're going to work four trebles and this time work in that first stitch also so it's important here you're also going to work in the first stitch so that's four trebles that's one two three and four four trebles now going to come down and work a front post double treble around the front post from round 27 so that's twice over around that stitch the loop it's one two three times taking off two loops skipping a stitch to the back skipping a stitch to the back and then work seven trebles so that's one two three four five Six. and here is number seven falls on that last treble there that's number seven I'm going to make it chain four three four I'm going to work a front post treble around this stitch right here in the middle of the butterfly Put the yarn over with the front post Treble right in the middle of the butterfly, then chain four, three, four. Now we're just going to come skipping all these posts, and here again on the trebles, I'm going to skip that first treble. So this, so this stitch here, I'm going to skip that, and come to the second stitch, and work a treble, and then that's the first of eight. But before I continue, just pop these chains to the back so that the butterfly is actually in front of the chain spaces. So you can really see the butterfly, so your chains are to the back here. Okay, but well that was the first treble of eight. So it's one, two, three. Eight trebles. So I've skipped that first stitch there, that's important, and then eight trebles. Now I'm going to work a front post double treble around this post here from round 27. So it's yarn over twice around the post stitch there. Two, three. Skipping a stitch to the back again, and then work four, four more trebles. That's one, two, three and four there you go. at this point you should be at the corner and you're at the corner above the B in the corner work a treble chain two and another treble I'll turn my work a bit I just skip the first stitch. That stitch. I'm going to skip that stitch and then come to the second and work four trebles. That's one, two, three, and four. And again, work a front post double treble around the post stitch from a few rows down. So that's Similar. So this edge is again similar to the edge on this side. And then skip the next stitch. So skip the next stitch, and then work eight trebles. So that's one, two, three, four. Six, 
7 and here's number 8 chain 4, so I'm going to do the same on this butterfly, chain 4 and then I front post treble right here in the middle of the butterfly and then chain 4 again and then on the next 7 stitches here skipping the treble group there's the first stitch, 7 trebles so 1 2, but actually before I continue I just want to pop these around again just to bring that butterfly nicely forward just fashion it a little bit really make the butterfly look pretty that was a two trebles, I need seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, seven. There we go. It's going autopilot. Seven trebles. A front post double treble again around this stitch down below just twice over and around that post skipping a stitch to the back skip a stitch and then a treble in the last four stitches before you get to the corner again two three and four and now you're at the corner again, and this is going to be the exact same corner as the corner we started with. So this one here. So everything you've just done, repeat three more times. In your final repeat, you'll of course omit these last two trebles. Close on the first stitch. And that's a, this is a nice fast round, especially compared to the butterfly rounds. And then you can also fasten off. Round 30. I have color 3 on my hook and we're going to start in the same stitch as the join also in that same stitch with a standing treble in that stitch and then just gonna work over so I just kind of hold on to my yarn tail and then I work over the slip stitch then that's the easiest On the next two stitches work a treble also. So one and two. We're at the first corner and in this corner we also start the repeat. Let's repeat the corners again a treble, chain two. That's your first corner. I just need to rotate a bit. A treble in the first six stitches and also here in the first stitch. That's one. That's one. I'm gonna work six. Two. And the last one here. Six. Now I'm going to do a tiny repeat unit. Chain one. Skip the next stitch and then work a treble. So I'm going to skip the stitch and then work a treble. So once we do it three times, just chain one, skip a stitch, work a treble. So that's two times. Chain one, skip a stitch. I work a treble. That's three times. Again, chain one. You've got one stitch left here. Before you get to the butterfly, you're going to skip that stitch. Now, 
we're going to work on the butterfly. You have the five trebles there. We're going to work a treble five together over those five stitches. So yarn over, then come to the first treble, insert and take off a loop, so that's one, and then come to the second, two, and then the third, three, and here's the fourth stitch, four, put my yarn and then come to the fifth stitch, to find it, ah, here it is, and five, so I've got five legs, one in every one of the trebles. Now we take them all off in one go. Chain four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to work a double crochet here in this in this treble here, this front post treble that's here in the middle. So in there, work a double crochet. And then just make sure to pop those the chain back to the back. You don't you want this you don't want this forward while you're working the stitches, you want this to be to the back here. Again a chain four. One, two, three, four. And then on the next butterfly here again a treble five together. And that's the first stitch. You just need to just look at where your stitches are. Three, four, and five, and take them all off in one go again. Chain two. Butterfly a little bit because it's really looking like a pretty butterfly. Now come here down to these trebles. Going to skip the first two stitches. So that's one, two, skip, and then come to the third stitch and to work a treble in that stitch. Chain one, and skip a stitch. And that was once. Going to do it three times again. So it's a treble, chain one, skip a stitch. Then again, treble, chain one, and skip a stitch. In the next stitch, we work the first of six trebles. It's so one, two, three, almost to the corner, three. You've done the first edge, you're at the corner above the B, and in the corner here we work a new corner, so that's going to be a treble, chain two, and another treble. Now we come down, and we're going to basically repeat the same idea. In the first stitches, we're going to skip the first stitch, so that's this stitch, going to skip that, and then in the stitches after, work six trebles. So you're going to skip that first stitch, that's really important here. So that's one, two, three, zero, four. Six. Now you have that little repeat again. Just chain one. Skip the next stitch. Work a treble. Three times again. Just chain one. Skip a stitch. Work a treble. That's two. Chain one. Skip a stitch. Work a treble. That's three. Chain one. Now we're again going to skip this last stitch before we get to the butterfly. So my chains have just popped forward. Make sure that to the back, 
when you're working in the butterfly because now we can work that treble uh, treble five together again so in the first stitch it's one two Chain four. One, two, three, four. Find the front post stitch. Work a double crochet in that stitch. And fashion your pretty little butterfly wings. Chain four. One, two, three, four. And again here, find the butterfly wings and I'm going to work that treble five together again. So one, two, three, four, five, and take them all off. Chain two. Skip one stitch after the butterfly, so this time only the first stitch. And then in the second stitch, work a treble, treble, chain one, skip the stitch, that's once, treble, chain one, skip stitches twice, and then treble, chain one, skip a stitch is three times. And then finish with six trebles. Two, three, four, five, and six. And next up is your first corner. So this corner here is going to be the same as the corner we started with. This is a beautiful round where you're really putting details on those butterflies. Continue this working all the repeats, so three more times, and you get to the first stitch, close on that stitch, and fasten off. Round 31, I have color 5 on my hook. I'm going to start in the same stitch as that you have the join. So here's the stitch with the join. I'm going to start in there with the standing double crochet. So I'm just going to insert my hook in there and just fiddle around between that slip stitch and cover the slip stitch. So standing and double crochet. And then a double crochet on the next three stitches. So one, two, three stitches. Now we're going to start the repeat. In the corner space, one double crochet, chain two, and one double crochet. Going to skip the first stitch, so that's in this stitch here. Going to skip that, and then come to the second. And it's going to be the first of six doubles. It's so one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Six double crochets. Have a series of chain spaces here. In the first chain space, work one double crochet. I'm going to come down and work a front post double treble around the post from a few rows down. So two times over. Come around this front post. And we work another front post around it. One, two, three times. Take off two loops. 
gonna skip the next stitch that's um, this treble here skip that then come to the chain space and work two double crochets in the chain space two doubles in that space I'm actually going to do that in three chain spaces so that was the first one here's the second chain space so two double crochets in there and the third chain space and that's just before the butterfly here so two doubles in there one We're going to be working in and around the butterfly. So those were the last two double crochets. Chain two. And now a front post treble around the front post treble for around 29. So that's the grey one here. So, oh sorry, just once over because it's a treble. Then around this stitch, a front post treble. Two, chain two, and then again a front post treble. Oh, sorry, that was not a chain two, only a chain one. Chain one, and then another front post treble around the same stitch. like this. So it's a front post treble, chain one, and a front post treble all around this same, the center front post that you have here. Then chain two, now it's the chain two. And now we're going to come to the other side of the butterfly. In the chain, I'm going to work again in the chain spaces. So in the first chain space work two double crochets. Two. Come to the next chain space, work two double crochets. One, two, and then the third chain space here, work two double crochets. One, two. A front post double treble again around the front post double treble from two rows down. That's twice over, and then take off two loops. You take off two loops. Take off two loops. Okay. Gonna skip the chain space here, so that chain space is gonna leave that unworked. And then come to, onto the first treble here where you work your first double crochet, and that's the first of seven. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Rotate, work a bit, and you're at the second corner. So this is the corner that's above the B. Here you work a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. So now we're on the second part of the edge. You can work a double crochet in the first seven stitches. And now you do work in the first stitch here. In the first stitch, your first double, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven double crochets. Won't surprise you, again, a front post double treble around the double treble from a few rows below around 29 I believe you can really see this nice line that we're building here that was the front post treble you have the next chain space this chain space is going to skip that chain space and the treble that's over here and then you have three more um, chain space. We're going to work two double crochets in each of those. So skip all of this, come to the second chain space here and work two doubles in there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three
two. Go to the next space. So one, two, and here's the last space. One, two, two double crochets in all three of those. We're on to the second butterfly. Chain two. Front post treble around the center stitch here and in the butterfly, so around the front post treble from around 29. Chain one, only chain one, and another front post treble around the same stitch. And chain two when you're on the other side. Come to the other side of the butterfly. In the first chain space here, work two double crochets. In the second one, work two doubles. And in the third space, work two doubles. There we go. We're at the front post again, so twice over. Double treble, front post, double treble. You can see it's the same rhythm. Skip the chain space here and come to the double crochet, or oh, sorry, to the treble and work a double crochet on that. And that's the first of seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five. seven double crochets. And now you're at the corner where we started with again because this is above above the leaves here. So everything you've just done is quite a stretch. These stretches are becoming longer. Repeat this three more times and when you get to your first stitch and your last repeat you'll have less stitches of course. Close on your first stitch and you can also fasten off. Well, 31A is actually a decoration round and what you're going to be doing is on your butterflies you're going to be making four French knots. You see on this butterfly I've already made the French knots. You're going to be making four on each butterfly. Now where you're going to make them is on, um, you see here's the treble five together in the center stitch of that treble five together on either side. And here at the bottom you've got these um, these stitches you made in 27A. You have the half treble that's at the bottom on those two. You're also going to be making a French knot. So I'll show you how to make a French knot, but if you've made these before and you're comfortable with that, please make them in the way that you are familiar with. If you have done embroidery before, you'll um, most likely be familiar with how to make a French knot. Going to make the French knot using color five, so I have a bit of color five yarn on my needle, and I'm just going to start in this butterfly here. I'm going to start here on the bottom. So we've got here the five um, stitches, and on a half treble here, and that one we're going to be making the first French knot. I'm just going to come to the back of the pedal and just attach my yarn, then attach it by pushing through the stitches and then we're going to come back you just want to secure this yarn tail because um, it's a pity if your knots come undone right. and now I just want to see where I need to go so here are the five stitches I need to go to this stitch yeah, that's where I want to go. So I just look at the back. Okay, we need to go there. And I just thread through where I am right now to where I want to go. And then I can stick my needle out to the front. There you go. 
Now that's the position where we're going to make the French knot. Now to make a French knot, you're going to wrap your yarn over twice around your needle and then bring this close to the starting to your fabric. So not so not up here, but really close as close as you can get it to your fabric. And then you're going to push the needle back through your fabric and you're going to push back close to the point where it's coming out so that's where it's coming out but not exactly the same point because then you're going to pull the knot to the back so just ever so slightly next to the position where your yarn is coming out you're going to be pushing back so I'll push my needle back here so to make the knot yarn over twice slide those loops to the um, to the position where your fabric where the yarn comes through the fabric and then insert and push back a needle and really hold your finger on this working loop you want to hold it as close as you can to where you're making the knot so that nothing happens to this working yarn and pull through and then close slowly guide this loop and there you go and that's your French knot made and you want to put, don't want it to, to be pulled through to the back so that's your little French knot and now you're going to make the next one that would be for example you could come up here or you can go there but then I'm going to go up here so then thread your yarn through the back to your next position and just need to in the beginning it's of course just a few big steps but then I'm at the right pedal and I want to go here and then I'm just going to make sure to, to miss this chain space so that I don't accidentally connect to that chain space because that's not what I want to do and then I believe I need to be here and yes I want to be here I'm just going to pull forward and I'll show you the French knot again so twice over bring as close as you can to your working position insert your needle push back and you can ah oh, you see there I've pushed through the chain space here I don't actually want to do that there I just want to miss that chain space and finish the French knot and there it is so now I've made two of these French knots here I've made it on the half treble and here I've made it right in the center. I'm going to do exactly the same on this side here in the center and then here on the half treble. And then you've completed one butterfly and you need to do this on all your butterflies. So take your time for all these French knots. It's a lovely little decoration and when you're ready you can continue with the next round. So I'm going to thread this through one stitch at a time. Round 32, oh, here's my yarn. I have color 2 on my hook with a slip knot. And we're going to start in the same stitch as the join from round 31. And it's that double crochet there, see there's the slip stitch. I'm going to join in there with a standing double crochet. So I'm just going to insert into the same stitch and then cover the slip stitch with this double crochet and then a double crochet on the next four stitches that will bring you to the corner so one two three and four now we're going to start the repeat and this time the repeat really is from corner to corner there's not the, the left and right hand sides are the same um, 
if you look at the at the so all these smaller parts you now have um eight repeats and not four. I'm gonna start in the corner a double crochet chain two and a double crochet. On the edge. I'm going to skip the first stitch. It's the first stitch. I'm going to skip that stitch and come to the next and work. And this is going to be the first of 14 and it'll bring you to your butterfly. So this is two, three, four. Continue until you have 14. Then you're at the butterfly. 14. 14 double crochets and then your next stitch should be here the chain 2 space. In the chain 2 space work 1, 2 double crochets. Then you come to the chain 1 space, it's kind of in between the V here, work 1 double crochet in there. And then you've got the next chain 2 space, work 2 double crochets. One and two. So I've got two, one, two. Then on the next bit until the next corner, so until here, and going to skip the first stitch, so that stitch, going to skip that stitch, and come to the second stitch and work a double crochet. And then that's again the first of 14. So that's one. This is two, and when you've got 14, that'll bring you to the next corner space. So work 14 double crochets. Fourteen. There we go. 14 double crochets. Next up is the corner, and this corner is the start point of your next repeat. So again, a double crochet double chain two and a double and now it doesn't matter that it's above the B because the, this now your next repeat is going to be exactly the same as what you've just done so this corner is the same as that corner so, so these stitches repeat this all the way around and when you're here at the end your last repeat you'll of course omit these last five double crochets because you've already worked them close on that stitch and then leave your yarn attached for the next round. Round 33. Now we're just going to continue with the yarn we already have attached. So I'm attached here with the slip stitch in the first stitch from the previous round. Chain one. This is not a stitch. Then in the same position make a first double crochet. There's in that same stitch, and now a double crochet in the next five. That's one, two, three, four, five stitches. The corner that marks the start of the repeat. So in the corner, it double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. I just need to rotate my work. My blanket is really getting just, just ever so slightly bigger. I'm going to skip the first stitch. There's that stitch. And then in the next work a double crochet. And then that's the first of eleven. And that'll bring you to about here. That's one. Eleven. Eleven double crochets. I'm going to come down and work a front post double treble so twice over. Just fold your work and really come around that front post double from a few rows down. Just give this stitch also just a little bit of room to breathe. So don't make it too tight. 
I'm going to skip a stitch to the back. See, and I'm skipping a stitch. And I come to the stitch after and work a double crochet. And that's the first of ten. Two, three, work ten, four, ten. So that's ten double crochets. And now again a front post double treble but this time coming down to that to the previous double treble and work a front post stitch around it skipping a stitch to the back again see there I'm skipping a stitch and come to the next stitch and work a double crochet and this is again the first of 11 two and that should bring you to the corner Eleven double crochets, and then that should bring you exactly to the next corner. And in the next corner, you start a new repeat. So here, work again a corner. So everything you've just done. So here, a new corner, double chain to double. Then all these stitches. Go to repeat this seven more times. On your last repeat, you of course skip the last few double crochets because you've already worked them. Close on your first stitch with a slip stitch and then you can also fasten off. Round 34, I have color 1 on my hook. And we're going to start in any in a corner space. And actually the corner space we're going to start in is the one that's closest to the join. So here's the join from the previous round and that corner space there. I'm going to start there with the standing half treble. So I'm just going to yarn over, then insert into that chain two corner space. Start with the standing half treble in chain two, and another half treble in that same space. And that's your first corner made. So half treble, chain two, half treble. The repeats along the edge. A chain one, that's, so this is the start of the repeat, chain one. And now we're going to skip two stitches. So you've got here's the first stitch, I'm going to skip that, and the second stitch. And then we're going to come to the third stitch and work a half treble. So it's one, two skip, come to the third. I work a half treble. We are going to work chain one, skip a stitch and a half treble. I'm going to do that 16 times. Chain one, skip a stitch, and a half treble. So that was once. So you're going to do 15 more, 16 in total. So chain one, skip a stitch, a half treble. That was two times, chain one, skip a stitch, and a half treble, chain one, skip a stitch, and a half treble. So this was four times, going to work sixteen, so I'm going to make a jump in the video, chain one, skip a stitch, and work a half treble. I'm going to make a jump in the video when I've done this about 13 or 14 times. What you can see now is that half treble, this half treble, this number 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. See this one falls exactly here in your front post stitch. And that's just a checkpoint for you if you've skipped the correct number of stitches, particularly here at the beginning. But repeat this, chain 1, skip a stitch and work a half treble until you've done that 16 times. Done the repeat 15 times, so I need to do once more. So I chain one, skip a stitch, and work a half treble. At this point, you have one stitch left before you get to the corner. So chain one, then we're going to skip this last stitch and come to the corner where you work a new corner. It'll be a 
half treble, chain two, and a half treble. And this corner marks the start of your next repeat. So this edge, it's a nice quick round. I'm gonna repeat this all the way around. And when you get to the first stitch, close here on the standing half treble with a slip stitch and leave your yarn attached. So just at the end of the round, I've just done the last chain one, and close here on this half treble, and that can be sometimes a bit hard to get into, because of the way the stitch work looks. There we go. So then close on that stitch with a slip stitch, and then move to the chain two space with another slip stitch. There you go. Leave your yarn attached for the next round. Round 35, currently in that chain space. Then chain one. This does not count as a stitch. In the corner, make a new corner. That's also the start of the repeat. Going to work two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. Just two double crochets, chain two, and then just move them up a bit because you need to make room. And then two more double crochets in that space. So this is a bit of a tight squeeze. So you've got two doubles, chain two, two doubles in that corner. Then along the edge, in the first seven chain spaces, I'm going to work two double crochets in each. So this is the first one. That's two double crochets. So that's once, two, three. So you work two double crochets in every space. Three. You're going to do that seven times. Three. Four. So you're getting this nice, nice, um, yeah, pillars. One, two, three, four. And this is five, six, and seven. There you go. Just check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, look, I did it eight times. Just you have to keep counting. Let me just check now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. So in seven um, chain spaces, work two double crochets in each. In the next chain space, work one double crochet, only one. Now we come down and work a front post double treble around this front post double treble here. Twice over. I'm just going to fold my work and just get around that stitch. Give the stitch some room to breathe. So that's one, two, three times taking off two loops. Now we're going to come to the next chain space and that's this one here because this space here already contains a stitch. You can actually see it sitting there. So not this one, the next one. Work two double crochets. So that's one, two, and also in the next space. You're gonna do this twice. One, two. To the next front post double treble, another front post double treble. And again give the stitch just a little room to breathe. And the next chain space, this one here exactly to the back, work one double crochet in there. If all went well, we have seven chain spaces left before the corner. See so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and work two double crochets in each of those spaces. So that's one. Two, 
three, four, just wrap that my work a bit, four, and I'm almost to the end of a yarn ball, and then the yarn doesn't cooperate anymore. And six and seven times. And there we go. Next up is the corner, and here you're gonna start a new corner. So this is also the start of a new repeat. So that's two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. So the same as we started here. So everything you've just worked along this edge, all these double crochets, do that all the way around. And when you get to the first stitch, that has first double, that's that one there. Close on that stitch and then you can also fasten off. Round 36. I have colored two on my hook here. And we're going to start in the same stitch where we just did the slip stitch join. So there's that double crochet there. And this is a little full here. Search your hook in there. I'm going to start with a standing double again in the same stitch as the join, covering the slip stitch. And there we go. And then work a double crochet in the next stitch also. Then starting the repeat in the corner, so you've got the chain two space, work one double crochet, one double chain two and one double there we go. let me just rotate my work again I'm going to skip the first stitch that's on that stitch skip that stitch and then come to the second and work a double crochet and that's the first of 19 so that's one two Three. When you have 19 you'll be about halfway. So work 19 of these. 19. 19 double crochets. And so now you're halfway um, your, your edge and you see it's the butterfly. We're now going to connect this bow, this bow that we've been making here with a front post double treble two together. Just yarn over twice for the double treble and come around the first leg which will be you'll have to bend your work a bit back and then take off two loops and take off two loops which is two and stop again yarn over twice and I come to the, the next front post double treble and work one a post a leg around that as well. So take off two loops, take off two loops. At this point you have three loops on your hook and I'm purposefully just bringing them together like this so as to prevent my loops from opening up. Then yarn over and take them all off. And that's the front post double treble two together. To the back, I'm going to skip a stitch. So you see there I'm skipping one stitch, that stitch, and then come to the next stitch and work a double crochet. And that's again the first of 19. And then that'll bring you to your next corner. And if you just roll these stitches a little bit upwards, because they look a little funny now, but if you roll them a bit up, you can really see this, this arch here it looks really nice. Uh, one, two, three. I was doing 19, so this is four, five, 19 double crochets. And now you're at the end of the edge exactly. So your next stitch should be the corner here, and then here going to work the same corner as the corner we started with there. So at this edge, I'm going to repeat this all the way around. So there's just a number of double crochets and then here at the, in the center really pay attention to the double treble stitch. And then go all the way around and close on your first stitch with a slip stitch. And if I recall correctly, you can also fasten off. Round 
Round 37, I have color 3 on my hook and we're going to start in the stitch after the join. So here's the join, you see there's the slip stitch for my yarn tail. So then come to the next stitch, insert in there and start with a standing double crochet. Come to the next stitch and make another double crochet. There you go. We're now going to start the repeat. And the repeat is here in the corner. We're going to start on the, with a new corner stitch. We're going to make a puff stitch in the corner. And the puff stitch is, going to, is a lot of yarn overs. So yarn over, insert into the space and pull up a loop. It was once. You're going to do this four more times, five times in total. So that was one, yarn over, insert, pick up a loop. That's two, and really pull up this loop so that all your loops are at the same working height. That's two, yarn over, insert again. That's three, over, insert again. That's four, and yarn over. That's really full in there. Insert <laughs> again. And that's five. Now you do have 11 loops on your hook at this point, but just trust me on that. Then yarn over and pull through all of them. And as you pull through, just push your hook up a bit. Otherwise, you're going to get it, you might get it stuck somewhere that it doesn't get um, snagged. So just push your hook up against the top of these loops as you pull through. Then you'll pull it through smoothly and chain one to close it all together. That's a puff stitch. You're going to be making quite a few of these on this edge. Now we're going to skip the first stitch, luckily, because you can hardly see it. Uh, there, that's the first stitch. I'm going to skip that stitch and then come to the second stitch and work a double crochet in there. What you'll notice is your puff stitch will want to go to the back, just bring it, just pop it with your finger, pop it back forward because you want the puffs at the front and not the back. So that was one, you want going to make four double crochets. So it's one, two, three, four double crochets. Now we're going to make a puff stitch and, the, and five doubles. Gonna do that twice. So yarn over, so in the next stitch, that's one, two, three, four, and the last one, five, five times loops through chain one. In the next five stitches double crochet. So here's the next stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, five double crochets. You can see again your puff stitch, just pop it forward. That was once, gonna do it again, so another puff stitch. Just gonna grab some yarn because it's this is a bit of a yarn eater. That's one. You can really see I'm bringing up the loop to my working height, so that gives you nice full puff stitches. Two, three, four, and five. Pull through, chain one. And now again five double crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five. And pop your puff stitch forward. Another puff stitch, like I said, you're going to be making a lot of puff stitches. So one. And you'll be able to count to five after this. Three, four, and oh, come on. five. Pull through, 
chain one. Now a double crochet in the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. And bring your puff stitch forward again. So here you have five stitches in between and now you've got six. Now it won't surprise you, another puff stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Take them all off, chain one. And now again, five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and pop your puff stitch forward. And once it's forward, it'll really, it'll stay there, so don't worry about that, but you really have to just pop it forward. So five doubles, and now a puff stitch again, so we did that once, we're going to do it twice, and it really is a yarn eater one, I just, two, three, four, five, and take them all off, chain one, and five double crochets again, one, two, three, four, five, there you go, puff stitch forward. At this point you should have five stitches left before the corner. We're going to work a puff stitch and then four double crochets. And then we're at the end of the edge and the end of the repeat. Oh dear, I think my... Oh dear, you hear my cat? Oh, I'm so sorry, he's hungry. It is around dinner time. Two. Three. Oh, he's really complaining. I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to finish this edge with you guys. And then I'll go and feed him. The next four stitches work a double crochet. One, two. Oh, he's really, really hungry. But he's always thinking that he's starving. That's normal. So, never mind. So, the last puff stitch and finish with four double crochets. Your next stitch is here the corner stitch. See here, this stitch here in that corner stitch there. See that stitch there? You would start a new puff stitch because that corner is the same as this corner. So this puff stitch in the corner, you would now work in that corner stitch. And everything we've just worked along this edge, so all these double crochets and the puff stitches, repeat that on all your other edges also. And of course you'll finish with a puff stitch and then work two double crochets before you close here on the last, on this stitch here, this first stitch with a slip stitch. And you can also fasten off. I'll go feed my cat and then I'll see you guys for the next round. Round 38, last round of this part. I have, if I can just find it, there we go, colour 2 on my hook. And we're going to start in the same stitch as the slip stitch join is in with a standing double crochet. So I'm just going to insert into that stitch, trying to cover slip stitch in the process. And there we go. Then in the next stitch also work a double crochet. Now we're going to start the repeat unit. If you if I'm just going to open this up here. If you look here, you see here's the puff stitch. And if I pull all of this open, kind of there, you see there's a gap. You see actually here's the stitch, but underneath the stitch, so underneath all of those loops, actually really where I'm poking my hook in, in there we're going to work two double crochets. And that's going to be the first half of the corner. So underneath all of these loops, so really in that gap there, work two double crochets. One, two. 
chain 2 which is your new corner space and now come to the other side of the puff stitch and likewise if I just pull this open you see there a little gap here and here so, so here's a double crochet not not there but really before that see there there's a space and there work two double crochets and then this makes your new corner so your corners is either side of the puff stitch between the, st the puff stitch and the first or last double crochet again it depends on how you look at it so that's your corner made I'm now going to work 18 double crochets and it's important to also get into that first stitch there that stitch so also grab that first one there 18 doubles and that'll bring you uh, roughly halfway two three four and here you see five is a puff stitch that's the puff stitch there that's five and then you see here this loop that one that little V there that's actually the chain one from the puff stitch you do not want that stitch when I come here this is a double crochet so this is your next stitch so be mindful of all these puff stitches that you don't don't work two double crochets in the puff stitch so if you're at the end of the row and you somehow don't seem to have quite a few stitches left then you know you've, you've worked too many double crochets because here you see two what looks like two stitches but only here the first one is actually a stitch that second one is the chain one so this is the puff stitch this first one then that's the chain one you don't want and then here is the double crochet again I've hopelessly lost count, of course, but I believe I've still got a few to go because I need 18. I'll just continue with you guys because usually I make a jump in a video, but I'll just continue and at a certain point I'll start counting. And I think I should have about 18. And then that's again the chain one. So I come to the next stitch, and this will also help to kind of pack up that, uh, that puff stitch. Now I'm now roughly halfway, so now let me just count where I'm at. So 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, oh, 19, 20, I've worked too many. One. So this, this should be 18 double crochets. Let me just count again. 1, 2, 3, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yes, so that's eighteen double crochets, and then four half trebles. Now that's easier to count. That's one, two, three, four half trebles. And then again, 18 double crochets, and that should bring you to the next corner. So here, this is one, and then here's two, and then that's again the chain one about above the puff stitch. So here's three, four, five, six, seven. Eight here is in the puff stitch. That's chain one. And this is nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's the chain one. This here is fifteen, sixteen, 
17 and number 18 falls exactly in the last stitch before the next puff stitch. Always a great feeling and things work out exactly. And now you're at the start of your next repeat. So what you do now is here again in that space there, I'm poking my hook in, work two double crochets, chain two, then come to the other side and in that space there, I've got my hook, that space there, work two double crochets and then immediately in the first stitch work your first of 18 doubles. So repeat this, go all the way around and when you get to the back to the beginning, you're going to close on your first stitch and then cut your yarn. And when you've completed the round, you've also completed part two. Work away any last yarn tails you might have. So that nice and to the back, it's nice and clean. I still have two more yarn tails over here, but the rest are already all worked in. And then you're ready for next time. Hope to see you for part three.